So guys, I managed to get my hands on the top five explosion-related government conspiracies ever. This has never been reported on before. Are you ready to hear it? Here goes, number one, this list. <sighs> I should've started with number five. So beer lovers, I'm getting sick of this same old, same old. I'm gonna try something new today. We're gonna call it Explosion Wednesday. We'll see if we make it a thing or not. And since it's Explosion Wednesday and I lost my other list, I'm going to do a list of the five most amazing natural explosions ever that I found on Google, via Google. Not right on Google, it went linked to other articles. You know what I mean. Number five, whales. Yep, they explode. Some of you already know that. You just keep your mouths shut while others who don't know that can listen. That's right, sometimes whales explode when they're already dead, chill out. But yes, some whales are dead. It's a result of a buildup of natural gases created by methane producing bacteria. Every time I say something my whale doesn't like, she shoots me with her blowhole, Old Faithful over here. Speaking of Old Faithful, that's number four on the list. Thanks for the segue, whale. That's right, Old Faithful's that geyser in Yellowstone National Park that shoots off almost every 91 minutes. It's been called the most predictable geographic feature on Earth. Well, that's debatable. Look at a mountain. That pretty much stays a mountain the whole time. But that's still amazing. Every 91 minutes? Most days I forget to take a shower. Don't have to worry about that today, though. Third on the list, back to exploding animals again, this time toads. This one's kind of gross, so if you're sensitive to that kind of thing, just turn the sound off and look at this kitten until the kitten goes away, then you can turn your sound back on. In the spring of 2005, a thousand dead toads were discovered in Altona, Hamburg. Researchers discovered injuries on all of their backs and they were missing livers. What? It turns out crows performed keyhole surgery, removing the nutritious liver without ingesting the toxic skin. As a defense mechanism, the toads swelled to 3.5 times their size, but their livers couldn't stop their lungs from expanding. So now I'm gonna take the kitten away and those with the sound off are gonna come back. Let's pretend I finished an amazing joke that they missed out on. Ready? Go. So that's where they got all that tomato soup. Ah! <laughs> so true. So true. And number two on the list, the Tunguska event. The Tunguska event is an enormously powerful explosion that occurred near the Podka... Podka... Podkamanaya Tunguska River. What actually occurred at this event was the subject of debate, which is why a lot of researchers were sent to Tunguska, to which they responded, Tunguska? I don't even know Uska. <laughs> Anyway, what is known is that in 1908, in that area in Siberia, either a meteor or a comet blew up in midair. But it's not like it was a big explosion or anything. Only like 80 million trees were knocked over in an 830 square mile area. Sarcasm, sarcasm. Imagine if that meteor or comet actually hit Earth. I'm no scientist, but yikesville. And the number one most amazing natural explosion ever, based on my brief Google search. Nick eruption. Slim Nick? I hardly even knew Nick. <laughs> Nor is limb a verb. No water, please. Basically, a limnic eruption is an exploding lake. That's right. Lakes explode. Wow. Wow. They do this when dissolved CO2 from deep lake water suddenly erupts into the air. The results are devastating. It happened in 1984 in Cameroon, and 37 people were killed from asphyxiation. And then it happened two years later in a nearby lake in the same area, and over 1,000 people were killed. It can only happen in deep lakes with volcanic activity, and the air temperature has to be the same all year round. And now, finally, number zero on the list of most amazing natural explosions. The explosion of knowledge I gave you for watching this video. I guess that's not... Natural, that's man-made, because it came from me. What if I got it from a talking monkey? In a funny hat. Oh, made of natural fibers. Weezy. Thank you, I hope you enjoyed my list. If you have any more questions, click here to go to a video that I'm sure will answer your question. And if I got any of my facts wrong, well, I didn't mean to. Click here for my deeply heartfelt apology. Thanks for the segue, whale. <laughs> Whew, good work, whale.